<laughs> a 50 BMG bullet? This thing's insane! These things are like pure destruction. So, if you've never seen my channel before, let me just tell you, I love shooting the 50 BMG. This thing's awesome. Mostly because anything you shoot, it absolutely destroys. But what I've never told you on my channel, or explained to you on my channel, is what is actually inside a 50 BMG bullet. Or the case for that matter. I want to show you guys how big this bullet actually is. How far it goes inside here. And I want to show you how much powder we actually get inside this brass casing. It's awesome. But I'm not actually going to tear this one apart. That would be crazy. Because I'm going to use this in my next video to shoot like maybe some watermelons or see how many pieces of drywall. That would, that's actually a really good idea. That's awesome. How many pieces of drywall this would go through. That's a great video idea. So I'm not going to tear this one apart. I'm going to set this one to the side and this one's going to do something great later. I do, however, have another one. Let me tell you, this one scared the hell out of me. Okay, if you see right there, this one has been in my gun. I pulled the trigger and guess what? It's still got a bullet attached to it. Oh my gosh, it was insane. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this one apart so, so for you guys to see. I want you to see how big the actual bullet is. I want you to see how much powder goes inside this brass case. And then we'll talk about it. First, I have to go up to my garage because I don't have a vise in my reloading room to tear this apart. And I'm going to need a vise and pliers and some other handy tools. So, come with me to the garage. Let's tear this baby apart so that you can see just how big a 50 BMG bullet is and how much powder actually goes into this small. No, this is small. This huge brass case. Let's go check it out. We're gonna tear this thing apart so you can see just how much powder comes out of this brass case and how big this bullet really is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab onto this bullet and hit up on it and see if I can knock this, this bullet out of the brass. I'm just gonna hit it pretty lightly, not too, too hard. See if I can turn it maybe. Oh, I think something's happening here. Not yet. Aha! Here it comes! You guys are in luck. I just got it out. Now, the bullet does have some teeth marks from me just grabbing it with the pliers. So you can see here that this bullet is huge. It's insane. What's up guys, I just got back down to my reloading room. So I'm really excited to show you guys this. This is the brass that we just pulled this bullet out of. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn on my um, powder dispenser and I am gonna show you guys just how much powder actually comes out of one of these bullets. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna dump this 50 BMG brass out into the RCBS trickler so that you guys can see just how much powder comes out of one of these. Because I'm sure you're all wondering, like, how many grains are actually in a 50 BMG bullet? Okay, here we go. Almost at 100, almost at 200, Two hundred and twenty point three grains of powder. 
Okay, so we just emptied this entire 50 BMG brass case onto my RCBS scale over there. It came out to about 220 grains of powder, which is insane. If I'm not mistaken, I think you could load like four point something Smith & Wesson Model 500 rounds with this, which is crazy. I have no clue, on the other hand, how many nine millimeter rounds you could reload. There's a guy though on YouTube, his name's Edwin Sarkissian. I think that's how you say his last name. He's got an awesome YouTube channel, guys. You should check it out. But also stay with me. Mine's pretty fun, I have a lot of big guns. Edwin might be able to tell you how many nine millimeter rounds you could reload with the amount of powder that just came out of this brass case. So, Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something about a 50 BMG and the bullet and the amount of powder that comes out of these things is awesome. If you ever have a chance to shoot one of these, take it. It's a once in a lifetime experience. If you're ever in Colorado, hit me up on my YouTube channel. Maybe you can meet me out and we can blow something up. I'm always up for letting people shoot this thing because I like to see your reaction. Because it's probably the same reaction I get every time I shoot this gun. It's awesome. Just talking about it, well, it, it doesn't give me goosebumps because I'm not scared of it. But it's really exciting to shoot. Thanks for watching, YouTube. I really appreciate everybody supporting me in my new gun channel. And... Make sure to smash that like button and let's try to get as many subscribers as we can because I want to keep this going and I want to shoot bigger and more awesome things. But I can't do it without subscriptions and tons and tons of views. Like I said in my video though, I have some good ideas of stuff I'd like to shoot. So stay tuned and we'll keep shooting.